What's up guys, it's Matt. In this video, I'm going to attempt to teach you how to play Nurse in 5 minutes or less. Nurse is considered to be one of the hardest killers to learn to play, but also the strongest when mastered. When it comes to being in chase with a nurse, there really isn't any looping a nurse, just dodging her teleports. That being said, the focus of this video will be helping you to land your blinks more consistently, so you don't get juked out by survivors as often. To get good at blinking, you need to know how they work to get a better understanding of what you're doing. So if you want to know how to blink, you close your eyes and then open them. <laughs> I'm so funny, dude. <laughs> but really, blinks take two seconds to charge to max. You know when they're fully charged when the nurse closes her hand. The maximum blink distance is 20 meters, allowing you to charge 5 meters per half a second. And it takes 1.5 seconds to travel the entire 20 meters. After performing your first blink, you have 1.5 seconds to charge up a second blink. Should you charge the second blink perfectly, you can travel up to 12 meters. But Matt, if it's 5 meters per half a second, then shouldn't you be traveling 15 meters? Thank you for asking, Kevin. Yes, but also no, because you lose some time when you begin the animation of charging the second blink. The base cooldown for one blink is two seconds, and you gain an additional half a second cooldown for each chain blink and one second if you attack. So try your best not to m miss your attacks when blinking because it can be very detrimental. Some tips for blinking. Should you fully charge a blink and no longer want to travel the entire distance, you can look at the ground to shorten the blink distance. The more direct at the ground you look, the closer the blink will be. This does not change the travel time, so you sh should you look directly in the same spot that you're standing, it will still take the full 1.5 seconds just to blink in the same spot. This can be annoying if you're in a two-story building, because should you look at the ground in an attempt to shorten your blink, you will blink through the floor. However, if you look all the way up, the same effect will happen, and you will blink not as far. However, you cannot... Uh, do this to where like you'll blink in the same spot but it will shorten the blink should you look all the way up so should you be in a two-story building instead of looking at the ground you want to look up if you're going to blink specifically for travel make sure you only use one blink there you should not use both blinks when traveling now there are two ways to catch a survivor with your blink depending on how they're juking Typically when chasing the survivor, the first blink is used to catch up and the second blink is used as an adjustment. However, should a survivor absolutely break your ankles, then the adjustment blink won't suffice. The first way of catching a survivor is, should they be moving predictably, you want to try to blink on top of them. This is where you try to blink next to the survivor and get a hit. Should they juke, then you can do a small second correction blink to compensate for the juke and catch them. This works on most survivors as most survivors are not good at juking a nurse. The second way is to purposely blink short of the survivor and reacting to how they juke with the second blink. This is mainly done against good survivors who know how to juke a nurse. But Matt, if this is the best way to catch good survivors, then why don't I just do this against bad survivors too? Thanks for the question, Kevin. The reason is because if you blink short against a bad survivor and they keep running in a straight line, then you won't be able to catch them with the second blink since you blinked short on the first one, forcing you to go into cooldown. The only reason this works against good survivors is because typically survivors will try to double back, cutting the distance that they would have otherwise gained. And when chasing a good survivor, it is typically a 50-50 on whether or not they'll do one of these, so you actually just have to make good reads. Other than everything that I've already told you, the only other thing that you can do to get better is practice. Like, comment, and subscribe please, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Catch me live on Twitch and join my Discord, the links are in the description. If you like this 5 minute killer guide series that I'm doing, make sure that you have the notification bell on so you don't miss the next one. Peace out.